Boys and girls watching, good morning, and good morning, boys and girls right here. Good morning, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad you came to school. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. It's already a great day. Turn and face your friends. Big smiles and let's say good morning to them. Good morning to our friends. Good morning to our friends. I'm so glad you came to school. Good morning to our friends. You may be seated. Oh, we are off to a great start and I have a fun story to tell you about. Oh, boys and girls watching, I don't know about you. Maybe it's already happened where you live or maybe it's about to happen here where we live. It is almost time. It is almost <laughs> Christmas time. And I have a story for you today. Do you see Amber Lamb right here? Well, let me tell you what happened before what's going on in this picture. Amber Lamb was sleeping in her bed and oh, it was such a cold morning and she woke up and she pulled those covers really close to her and she kept her eyes closed and all of a sudden, she smelled something. Oh, it smelled so delicious. Oh, and she wondered what it was. So she pulled the covers off and she jumped out of bed and she ran into the kitchen. And she said, Mama, what smells so good? And she could tell there was something yummy in the oven. And there was bowls and spoons and all kinds of things out on the counter. And her mama said, I'm making some Christmas cookies. Ooh, have you ever helped mommy make Christmas cookies or any kind of cookies? Oh, it always smells so good after you've mixed all the ingredients together and then you put it in the oven and you can just smell all that cinnamon and the sugar and oh, it smells so good, doesn't it? You cannot wait to eat those cookies. Well, Amber wanted to help. So Amber's mommy said, you can help me, Amber, but you have to go get dressed first because she was still in her PJs. So Amber went to her room and she changed her clothes and she made her bed and she made sure her room was clean and then she went and brushed her teeth and she came out to help mommy. And she put on an apron. Have you ever worn an apron, girls, to help mommy cook? Isn't that fun? No, you haven't? Well, it's fun to wear an apron, it is. Mrs. Stewart has an apron and I put that apron on and that apron will protect your clothes. So <laughs> mommy had an apron on and she gave Amber her very own apron apron. Wouldn't that be fun to have your very own apron boy or girls watching? It would be fun. Maybe you have one that you wear. Maybe it has your name on it. And she started to help mommy. She's like, can I help pour the chocolate <laughs> chips? And her mommy said, yes. So she started to pour those chocolate chips in. And as they were pouring in, she was taking one and eating them. Have you ever done that too while you're trying to help make mommy make chocolate chip cookies? Some in the bowl, some in your mouth, some in the bowl, some in your mouth. They taste so good, don't they? Oh, they're so yummy. And then as mommy was turning on the mixer, she was pouring in all of those chocolate chips and watching it all just mix in together. Oh, it was so good. And then when it was all done mixing, they put them on the pan and they made more cookies. Well, they made so many cookies. There were cookies all on the kitchen table. There were cookies all over the counter. They had some that they were cutting out with cookie cutters and putting icing on, have you ever done that? And then putting some sprinkles on. Oh, that's so fun to do. make those cut out cookies. Some were shapes of Christmas trees. Some were in the shapes of snowmen. Some were in the shapes of Christmas ornaments. Oh, and they were so delicious. But there were so many of them. What were they gonna do with all of those cookies? What do you think they should do with all those cookies, Johanna? What should they do with them? What would you do? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Well, if you had all of those cookies, do you think you could eat that many cookies? No. No, you couldn't eat. You couldn't, yeah, you would get a tummy ache, wouldn't you? Well, Amber had an idea. Amber said, Mommy, could we make up some plates? Could we put a few of each kind of cookies 
on a plate and we could wrap them in clear wrapping so you could see the pretty cookies. And then Button and Katie and I, we could take them and we could go caroling. Have you ever gone caroling before? Do you know what caroling means? It means you go and you sing in a group of people and you sing Christmas songs. And so they were gonna go to all of their neighbors. Oh, remember Mickey Monkey was one of their neighbors. They were gonna go to their neighbor's house and they would knock on the door. And when somebody would come to the door and say hello, they would start singing Christmas songs. Maybe they would sing Jingle Bells or We Wish You a Merry Christmas or some of the other songs we know like Silent Night and Away in a Manger. And when they were all done singing, they would give them a plate of those cookies. Oh, they were giving away the cookies. If they were giving those cookies away, what were they doing with those cookies, Kayla? They were what? If you had so Yes, they were sharing. They were being so kind during Christmas time. They were giving a very special thing to people just because they wanted to, just because they were sharing, because that's what time of year it is. It is Christmas time and it's time for sharing. Oh, we think, oh, it's so fun to get presents, isn't it? Oh, it is. Teachers like to get presents. Mommies and daddies like to get presents. Mommies and daddies like to buy you presents. And maybe you already have presents under a tree that have your name on it. Oh, that is so much fun. But this time of year, it is fun to also give. And Amber Lamb and Button Bear were giving to people. They made, Amber made those cookies and then they shared those cookies with other people. You know, it kind of reminds me of Jesus. Jesus gave at Christmas time, or God gave at Christmas time. He gave us that special gift of who, Angelina? I can't hear you stand, tell me. Of Jesus. He gave us a special gift of Jesus. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to give his only begotten son, but he did. He gave us his only begotten son. Why did Jesus, or why did God give us Jesus, Carter? So he could what? We talk about it every day. Why did Jesus come to earth to do what? Jonathan, could you help him? Uh, take a punishment. Mm -hmm, to take the punishment for our sins. He gave us that special gift on Christmas. And that's why we give gifts on Christmas, to show how much we love each other. And that's why God gave us Jesus, because he loved us so very much. Let's be like Amber and Button and be so giving this year around Christmas time. Think about some people that you could give to. Maybe you can make special cookies with your mommy and daddy and you could share a plate of cookies with your neighbors too.